folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. Topping the fuel tank off on the warrior here, so we've got to go grab the, the plow and head up to field 7 and test out that theory of taking off the headlands so that the long plow will function on these smaller fields. Let's go see if that works. I really, really hope it does, because waiting for the small plow to go back and forth and back and forth over these fields, especially some of the bigger fields, is frustrating. I'd love to be able to use the big plows, but I get tired of having to clean up after them because there isn't enough room. So I want to know if this solves that. I'll grab what I'll call the big blue one. I don't have the name memorized. You know which one it is. Alright, Q, that's not Q. I've got to move the Move the cue on this keyboard to another place. <laughs> Alright, so let's take him. Let's see, we're heading for seven. Let's see if we can get him through the woods. That'd be the fastest route to get there. Although we got to make a real sharp turn around the pigs. Yeah, let's go this route. Let's head straight out there to the road. Now... In the little bit of time between last episode and this one, I cleaned up the the equipment we had over there at the pig farm, with the uh, uh, the straw uh, shredder that we uh, used to, to put bedding down for the pigs. And in that amount of time, it switched over from a forecast of eventual rain to a forecast of rain, I guess. There were two icons up there, now it's just the one. So I think that means as soon as this sunny period is done, we've got nothing but rain in the foreseeable future. I've never really figured out how this system works because we've only really covered maybe at most a couple of weeks or the days in this series. You know, we don't run it at, at, uh, at full speed very often or fast speed very often. So we've only had two or three times of rain come in. I'm kind of guessing it's something like six or eight hours in between each cycle. So, well, we'll say seven o'clock. We'll say mid-afternoon. We may see that rain actually come in. We'll see how that works. All right, X this guy. And how best? Probably should have started right over there. Let's do that. Let's take off a couple of rows. Although here... There's actually plenty of room. Let's take off one row. One row only. Uh, traffic, we do have to deal with traffic here. But only if we're coming from this direction. Alright, something like that. I do want to keep it straight down here. Let's go ahead and hire this one out so we've got a nice straight run. But just to take off the, uh, the sunflower plants that didn't get uh, clipped. Oh, we still have the harvester over there. Got to go deal with that too. Let's move them aside. That'll give us something to do while the plowing's going on. But there's plenty of room here. I did this one row because we do have rocks right there. But that'll be the last pass. So I don't know that it'll even be affected. Probably not. We will go through here. Does he complete it or does he stop early? He stops early. Uh, higher, stop. And. Nope, don't do that. Do that. All right, let's do this ourselves. Really want to know if he doesn't freak out that he's going to fall off a cliff. If uh, if he can handle this on his own. So let's turn this guy around, go down to the other end, move the harvester, and do at least three runs down here, maybe four. Leave it so there's absolutely no question that there's an obstacle on the way. All right, pop out of him. Let's move this guy over and let's see what this one field did. Uh, yeah, about half full. 50, well, 50%, exactly half full. All right, let's fold you up. And G and fold you up. Try that again. Huh, we're refusing to close those doors. Why is that? not an option. 
maybe it will not fold until it's empty. That might be it. Okay, so we're going to go wide open and just hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> okay, um, F1, and let's pull on down here. So we'll put this away once the the uh, hired hand is, is, is busy working away on the field there. Drop you down. Sprint back over here. See all the little stubs of, uh, of plants. I can't get down any lower, can I? Of the uh, sunflower stalks still sticking out of the ground there. And it seems like... No, it wasn't this one. It's out around field five. No, it's the back of three and four? Where's my map? Back of these guys that we also have water access. This shoreline right here. Standing here, it felt like I was looking out from here. I guess because there's a mill right here. And there is a mill right here too, right? Yeah. So it's behind the mill over at the other field. That uh, gives you the ability to do that. Anyway, I want to go in that direction. So let's take him wide. He's already opened up. And it stuck out quite far last time. So let's take us a little bit deeper. Although we're not currently lined up to handle that, are we? Okay. Never mind. Actually, let's go a little further. Let's take it off in this direction for a moment. Then come back around. That should line us up better. Yeah, something like that. Alright. Are you out? A couple of straight rows in here. I have to unhire the last minute. Yeah, we're looking good back there. Because of the trees coming up. We'll finish that off manually. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay, as soon as he starts slowing, I will unhire. And drop him back down, back up a little, and let's do this one manually. Go all the way off into there. Alright, so now I also don't know if there is a specific direction you have to have the plow when you start. This does tip the other direction. Almost like you want to lead, like I did this backwards. I don't know. Um, bring you back up in the air. Let's try to make some kind of a circle in here. That's close. Turn him around. Probably around the tree. Yeah, something like that. Alright. This one lines up real close to the back tire, if I remember right. Kind of want to be right about there. Alright, let's hire him out. Now... B? Yeah. Which makes more sense? No, go back. To travel that way or this way. I've never been able to nail down the logic of it. If I was curving as I was doing it, then you'd want it the point to be on the outside of the curve. But on a straight, no matter which way you go, you kind of end up in a slant, so I've never really grasped why you would use one or the other on a straight run. It'd be different if it was a, you know, a huge kidney-shaped field and you just kept going in circles round and round and round. And then if I was going counterclockwise, I'd want to stick it out my right side. That feels right. This doesn't have a feel either way. So if you guys know the answer to that, I'd appreciate letting me know in the comments, because I don't grasp a difference. Higher? Let's go. This should be overlapping just fine. Yeah, that works. Now, let's do four of them. And or let's take those trees down. I want to know without any possibility of conflict whether or not this works. Ready to unhire. He's going to go only that far in his own. So let's pop that back down, finish that. Did we get it all? 
There we go. Alright, he's done there. That's a V. We'll make. Boy. No easy way to make this turn. This one's going to hang over a bit, so we'll start it right there. Hire you out. Yep, that's pretty good. I do like the way that the tires are set to roll right through the, uh, you know, the valley of the furrow there. It's like it would in real life. That's quite a bit of room. Then, yeah, I want to do one more pass. All right. Higher. Back up. Drop it. And let's clean this up. And I guess veer last second right there. Okay. V. Now, can I get this through the trees? And if this works... Then we may just take these trees down so we can do this properly next time. This one with the tires just about touch. And higher. Now, is that enough room? Now, those trees worry me. I'm going to go one more. Besides, you want to start in that corner over there anyway. So we'll go one more time. So essentially, he's going to plow now just to this point, rather than out to this point, the the AI. That's the, the theory behind this, which gives him plenty of room to make that turn without having to stop early like he's doing right now. So higher, D, drive. Because he's navigating how he's going to make this turn without getting into the trees before it's too late. Unlike us, we'll just, you know, go down there and use the railroad track as a <laughs> as a turnaround. Let's go this way. Trees are not fine. We'll stop there. I'm still not going to be at a good angle. Uh, nope. Let's try that again. Some of these you can't pull out if you make a mistake at the very beginning. There we go. Yeah. See, he can't do that. And theoretically, or not theoretically, in reality, I can't do that either. But it did. Higher. Alright, everything should be gradually dropping into alignment. That looks good. We missed it a little right there. With this, I'm going to say that's... That's a, as much as should be necessary to turn him around. A good solid turnaround area over there. We'll go back and verify that we like the other one over there. That is a tractor length plus. A tractor and plow. Uh, v is there. No, higher. And V. There we go. Alright, now when we get over here, I'm going to go with the assumption that we want the plow pointing out the the outside of the field. That's the way I'm going to aim it. Hopefully I'm, I'm right. So, boy, turning this around is going to be a challenge. I'm going to go this way. Yeah, I think that's better. So I'm already pointing the direction I was thinking of. Lines up right there. That distance out there looks good to me. It's about twice the length of the plow and tractor. We had one and a half to two times the length out over there, too. I'm going to go with that, but I am going to get closer to the edge of the field. All right, let's hire it out and see what it does. Now, it doesn't start until clear up here, so let's do that. And higher. So let's see if he can find the end of this field and if he's got enough room to make the turn. And boy, I hope this works. 
Because that will make life so much easier in the future. slow pans that this game is able to do until you run out of mouse pad. <laughs> it's looking so cinematic and then clunk. You can't move the mouse anymore. <laughs> That's kind of how I made the intro to this series. A little 10 second video before each of these episodes. Just did a nice even swing in. Kind of like that. And then I started zooming as I went. Right on into the cab. Alright, pulled up and left a V. Darn. Okay, turning it on her own, but she still went all the way... Oh, she went all the way out there so she can make this turn here and get back. Alright, we'll experiment with one more thing before we do this. Because she might go wide and clip all of that. Might be more to this than I'm giving it. No, didn't happen. And what are you doing? <laughs> I think my game's broken. What are you doing? Slowing down. Now we're going to back up. Well, this is exciting. She's a good backer-upper, I will say that. Okay, well the game was looking for a specific trigger. I didn't find it. So I found it again a hectare later. Okay, well that was a good start. Just not a good finish. Okay. Well, let's try another experiment. Let's start off again in another part of the field. But this time... In fact, we'll be able to do the other end of the field over there. And this time, we will set the angle to the opposite. We'll set it so that the point is not to the outside of the field. Although it's kind of hard to truly replicate. I guess I can start in that corner. That'll give us the same side that we're starting on. Okay, we'll do that. We'll go from the other side and give this one more try. Just in case it was operator error that caused all that. Meaning, me. So love the graphics of this game. I've done a good job of doing, you know, working hard to make this look and feel real. But yeah, we're starting, stopping early. Okay, higher. And you dropped into the transport mode. Let's, um... B that, and then B it again the other side. So we're going to start the opposite orientation we did last time and see if the game handles it differently. Which means it's going to stick hard out this side over here. Okay. Which means I want to be kind of like this. Now, we're going to align. Okay, we're pretty much pulled into straight. Alright, let's hire this out. Now, the point is not to the outside of the field like I did over there. So, it's actually to the inside of the field. Let's see if there's a difference. Um, higher. You know where this field starts. That's good. Now, let's see what happens. Because plowing is one thing that has always bothered me about the game. Why offer equipment that the game cannot handle? You know, that doesn't make sense. Are there plows that are shaped more like a V rather than this diagonal line? I mean, come down from the rear left wheel, go down to the halfway point, and go back up to the rear right wheel. You know, plow with something like that. That, to me, is something that would work better in a square, a rectangle field. This feels like something that needs to be in an oval field. Something you just keep driving forward and, and never hit a corner, never have to stop. But with the AI not being able to handle it, 
it just feels like it was a mistake to ever put the machine, you know, the, the plow in here. So that didn't work either. So what gets rid of those little snags at the end you've got to go back and clean up? What is there to this that I don't understand? So if you've got ideas, let me know. We'll take this a couple of passes. Let's see if she can... Uh, Yep, she figured out where the starting point was this time. That's good. So the starts are good. It's the M's that are the problem. Eight o'clock. I'm going to guess the next transition into harvest is going to be 10 to 11 in the morning. So we'll have another episode. Well, we need this to transition soon. So we can do something with them next time. So let's kick this game speed back up a little bit. Uh, I'll go to five times. Now let's see what happens down here. And it could be that the plowing going crosswise across this is doing something to the AI. If it was a natural field with a big opening at the end, would it have done better? I don't know. In other words, maybe this map is just not... Well, we stopped way early that time. Huh. And still plenty of room to turn. Could have gone quite a bit further out here. So I don't think it's a lack of headlands that's causing this. It's just a problem with the game. But my thought was that she was going to curve in far enough into here to snag all of that. As she dropped it, but you now she lines it up pretty good before we ever get started. So it's just not able to handle the ends. Let's finish this one, and I'm going to go do something else as an experiment. Show you what does work well, but it takes longer to do it. That green plow that we've got. We'll look up the name and see what that is. That one, I think, will do a perfect job every time. I always seem to. That was my favorite, but, and I guess it would work if we weren't needing to stay here and watch. Turn a tractor loose with one of those, let them spend all day long just going back and forth. It's only half the width, really just that first half to the, to the wheel in the middle. So you have to take twice as many passes and it takes much longer. But if you're not having to depend on waiting for it, then yeah, that's fine. All right, this end stops. Like so. And the other one's going to leave a path just like this one. Okay. Let's unhire. And let's pull over here. And shut it down. Let's go do one more one more thing. Alright. Turn you off. And where am I? Backwards. That's... Nope. But let's go over here. I want this guy. But the other one will do it just fine. You know he will. Let's... How do I do that? Let's... Shift tab twice. There we go. And he's got enough fuel for this experiment. Pretty sure. Let's grab this other plow. This is the one that I have the most confidence in. A little further. Now he's kind of close over there. I guess I've got enough room. Come in a little bit of an angle like this. All right. Yeah, that works. So this guy is what? He is plows right there. The, the Amazon. The K-Ron? We'll go with K-Ron 200. He is three meters wide instead of almost five meters wide and it takes 180 horsepower to run which our new holland was 125 right so this is did i say 180 wait a minute back up here uh back him 180 i can't do it with this guy i can't i can haul him but i can't use it all right let's pull out of here and we need the uh, massey ferguson for this okay Glad to check that. Out. 
Yeah, it probably wouldn't hurt to have a weight on the front, too. So, let's see. V and Q. Let's put this guy away. Yeah, we'll just pull him in this way. Right there. Alright, let's grab the front weight. We have a lot of weight hanging out the back side, which will cause the front end uh, to lift up a bit. Not enough to where he's not steerable, but because uh, there's, there's a lot of weight in this Massey Ferguson. But it would uh, probably uh, get more, more grip Q. I have had tractors lift up the front wheels when something in the back was too heavy. You know, just kind of sit there and do a wheelie and wouldn't be able to steer it. Not so much on this map, but uh, oh, the last last edition of this game, running the Westbridge Hills, going up up the hills with too light of a tractor. That gets rather rather interesting to watch. All right, so you're there. Now, was there a let's see, B X? There is a transport mode. Ah. Fun. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll go up through the uh, to the backwoods path. See if I can steer while watching that little dolly wheel back there. Uh, it rotates with the direction you go, which is a nice little uh, little detail, little touch. All right, unloaded. We're coming up here at 17 miles an hour. That's about the speed I was expecting the Warrior to be able to, to pull those trailers with grain, but they were far heavier than I had imagined. So this has kind of become a plowing episode, hasn't it? <laughs> but a good one, though. I want to want to really explore this. I haven't really taken the time to explore the mechanics of plowing. Now, while we're testing to see what this guy can do, we can take the other one and clean up the, the parts that got missed. Where to? Let's start right here. So, what do I want here? X unfolds it, and I am going to go with the intent that we want it aimed out just like that toward the outside of the field. That's what felt right last time. Let's go with there, hire him out, make sure we Touch the other row just fine, and we do. And let's see what he does. If it works, then we'll grab the other one, clean up the spots that we missed, and then use that one to go grab the cultivator. Now, there was something to check out. We'll wait till this turnaround first. Oh, never mind. I thought I was in the potato field. Potato field, I was about to say... What did we plant in here? Yeah. Did the oilseed radish turn into fertilizer? That's the other field. That's actually not for a while. I was thinking that the oilseed radish... Huh? You didn't do it either? Uh, I was thinking that the oilseed radish didn't have as many growth cycles as the rest. That it was faster. But it does seem to be working its way through all four growth cycles. Okay, this one didn't do it either. He left a little, a much smaller problem, but... Alright, well, let's go to the end of this and turn him around and reverse that and see if it makes a difference. He started just fine. Yeah, he started at the beginning. They're just not ending well. And that's a problem with the AI programming of the game. I think that's pretty obvious. I just was hoping there was a way to kind of work around that. He is definitely starting shy. Or stopping shy. Okay. Unhire you. And we will redo this, but this time aimed away from the outside of the field. Kind of like that. All right. Hire you out. We'll take another, another pass through here. Though, because I'm overlapping a little bit, it's not going to be an accurate test. We'll have to wait till we get to the end of the next one. If you stop shy, 
we're stopping inside those other furrows. So we're not going to truly see what uh, what would have been left over. Because they're already done. Hear all the birds chirping while we're doing this. Look at that forest out there. Snow-capped mountains. Alright, so... Yeah, we would have stopped Shy Teal. So the direction you take it at doesn't matter as much. Ha. We, we will let him go ahead and finish his, uh, his routine at the other end. Give it a true test. Otherwise, unfortunately, the AI just cannot handle plows. And I wish it could. That's the one part of the game for me that's the most frustrating as far as the equipment. Not only are they very narrow, so it takes much longer to do it, but uh, you've got the, the cleanup work to do afterward. And the problem with that is that I want to run the cultivator. But I can't because I've got to do the cleanup where we just leave swaths that are not plowed. Which, in the end, isn't all that bad. It's more of an OCD thing and wanting to, wanting to do a good job. You are turning like so. There's plenty of room here to turn. He chose to turn this way, and he's not doing it in a way that swings in and clips any of that off. Okay. Now, if it didn't rotate that... Well, I was going to say then that the part that hangs out would have covered that. But we'd be only doing one and a half passes every single time. That would, uh, would make even more rows in here. Yeah. Okay, uh, shift tab takes me to the warrior. Let's go clean up this side over here. I don't know. Let's, let's just drop off the plow. So right over here. And if you ever spent time looking at this, when he drops it off, it drops the legs down and... and and uh, kind of fun animation, though it happens so fast. Where's the hand crank? This doesn't have a hand crank. Uh, some of them have a hand crank, and it spins and drops the uh, the leg down to get, you know, to, to support the, the tongue there. Anyway, let's go grab the cultivator. Or am I half hour into this? Yeah. So this is uh, pretty much a, a plowing episode, plowing and cultivating. What goes in here? Poplars go in here. Ooh, that's got to be done, too. Okay, oh, there's my turn. Why do you say we not worry about plowing perfectly? So we can do something else at the same time. Yeah, let's... Now, have we had a reason to buy the tree planter? I want to say we did. I want to say that we did that when we, when we uh, cut some trees down, but I'm not sure now. I did that in my own personal game, and I did that, I think, the time that Vapa was playing on this map with me, and I was showing him how the game works. So that I think I showed him how to plant trees. And I'm trying to remember if this actual playthrough, we bought one long ago. I'll have to check our garage and see if there is. But for now, let's grab this cultivator. Otherwise, we'll swing out and grab the... Uh, the tree planter. Let's see, this way. And like so. Alright. And we can get started. Now, well, not get started. That's easier said than done. And I went the wrong way. We'll go, we'll take the road back. Um, yeah, that's an episode all in itself, I've got to, got to admit. Because not only do we need to get the tree planter over there, we need to get a whole trailer full of Whoa, fishtail. Okay, let's try that again. Not talking drive. Let's get inside. A little bit less erratic in here. Because it feels a little more realistic in here. Um, out there it feels like driving a remote control car. <laughs> um, we've got to bring flats of the poplars over to be loaded into the, uh, the planter. So that's... Yeah, that's an episode all in itself. I can't just squeeze that into the next ten minutes. So we'll continue to do what we're doing. So right up 
here on the left. It's interesting how you get to know a map like it's your home. Like it's a place you drive every day. I can get to just about anywhere now without having to think too hard about it. Alright. Since we're not going to... Let's do this. Not going to try to race over and grab the poplars. Let's go ahead and clean up the plowing here at the end. Where am I going? Oh, there I am. And are we... We're not. X. Didn't work. X. It's not unfolding. B. Alright. You happy that way? Yeah, you're happy. How to do this? Well, we could do it like so. And keep it in line with the rows. The furrows. Or we could just swing out over here. I see. He dips down once in a while. When he touches the ground, it gives the, the sound that he's actually working. Alright, let's go over here. V. Clean up this. Just to give the cultivator an area that's ready to go. Snag that in there. V. Alright, I think I got all that. Clean up this end. And turn the cultivator loose. Now, what I mean by this working well on an oval field, you can take this and just kind of cut corners really easy with it. So, if we had a map where they were random shaped fields, not rectangles, we could take this and just kind of roll it through and tick, you know, go around corners and. Let's see, if I go straight, I missed that. So, V. I'm thinking of some of the fields that Daggerwind has, has done, some of the maps, you know, custom mod maps, that uh, simulate a little more realistic farming. You know, it follows the contour of the land rather than a perfectly cut-out rectangle. Can't think of the names of any of those maps, but... Most of them will give you a, a snapshot of the of the of this when you uh, download the mod. You can see what I mean. Huge fields, bordered in brush and trees, and just plowed out. It's like this: just plow through and just make a field. And don't have to worry about having enough room and headlands for a, an AI to uh, clean it up because you're doing it manually. But we'll leave this guy over here, and let's get the cultivator going. Oops, wrong one. I want Q. There we go. Oh, we're backwards here. Where am I? There I am. Now this point here, even though I'm not lined up right, there's a swivel right there. So you'll see when I hit Q, it'll swing out. That actually lets you turn the tractor. It's, why, you know, it's not rigid. It's a pivot point right there. Got a little bit of realism that's so much fun here in this game. X. And he's just barely wider than the tractor. So we'll drop him in about like that. And hire you out. Now this guy does a good job. I remember right, I've never had trouble with him, especially when there's a good headland. Which means for me, I have problems over there. Um, and he needed a weight. That's right. He does. So let's unhire, back up a little bit. Q. Let's go swap out with him. Uh, we'll head down to the end. Okay, unhire. Over 
here. He's got the weight on him. Um, yeah, I guess we can just put this back in place. Somewhere over here. And Q, grab him forward. Pretty good right there. Actually, no, you're not. It sticks off to the side. Go over here. Yeah, something like that. Hire you, which is going to freak you out because I'm in the way. There we go. So let's try this again with the tractor with the weight on it. See if he can do a better job. Of course, that could have used a weight too. We'll see. Let's see if he's having trouble. Be about time to get a wait for all the tractors. Earlier versions of this game, the weight made quite a difference. I'm not lined up well. Let's do that again. Of course, it was Westbridge Hills, so we were going up and down hills a lot. Maybe that's why it made a difference. Uh, Q, and let me take you over to this side a little bit. There we go. Figure that out. Still slipping. There you go, that's better. You can see the, the big tire there slipping once in a while. It's trying to go and zoom in a little. And then suddenly it goes real fast and then it slows back down again. So that's interesting how it simulates that. Yeah, you can see the, uh, the power shifting from one side to the other through the differential. Whichever one slips, the other one takes over. Wild. Yep. I don't know if you can tell, but I kind of like this game. So let's follow him through. We're happy to the end. Good job. Backs up well. He? She? This one's a she. Yeah. Like a pro. Okay, and we're slipping. But we're going to make it. Alright, let's jump over to the other tractor, see how this is doing. Here's to see when it lifts up the plow, what it does to the front wheels. If we come way up on the shocks or not. Not much difference, huh? Yeah, going uphill like this with the lighter tractors and you know, something like that hanging off the back. I would take off and you'd see the front wheels pop a wheelie. Nope. This guy's got it. No problem. Alright, two more passes here. And go through and clean those up. Finish the cultivating. And perhaps next episode. We'll see. This may have to wait a little while. I'll have to see um, how the harvest comes in on all the other fields. Or even if it already happened. That's field 5 over there. That's a big wheat field. That's the giant field. Um, let's pop over. What's happened here? Nope, they're still at the last stage of growing. Okay. So it'll be next episode that we see this transition. If we happen to be in the right place. Um, escape out of that. Just debating how much further to go with this. Do we call this done or do we finish the job? Yeah, let's finish the job. At least the plowing part. And cultivating will, will finish on its own. Heck, it can finish while I'm recording the next one somewhere else. I don't have to be here for that. So I don't have to squeeze that in in between episodes. Now there's only one furrow left to do. But I'll still let her do it. And then we'll come back and clean things up. of that one. Uh, see? Here's what it looks like inside. Oh, that was close. Took a computer to calculate that down to the six inches of space. Uh-huh. All 
right. We're done over there. I don't know. I don't see the warrior. There it is. Right there. Okay, well, let's snip off these couple of spots over here. And since we've proven that the cultivator can handle it no matter what direction the furrows go, I'm just going to zip around here in little circles and get it done. I'm not going to, uh, let's see, I want that one? Yeah. I'm not going to worry about trying to make it look good other than just making sure not to, well, I can lift up here, but making sure not to get into the cultivated area. I have to redo that again. All right. Now, if I were to swing out this way, almost clipped it all. That was close. Let's um, let's go the wrong way, and then we'll go this way. Swing out. That took care of it. All right, lift you up. So this is how not to use a plow. <laughs> let's go clean this one up. Then we'll call this one done. I'll start recording the next one again. I'm not going to be around when these guys are released. So you can go ahead and leave comments, but it may be a while before I can answer them. Alright, we've got all those. Yeah. And next time is what? I guess it's starting to get the popular supplies to here. But then breaking off to start the harvesting when those other fields pop. There we go. That's done. So him in the air. Let's go ahead and drive back to the other side. And we'll put pieces of this away as we need to go and do other things. Every time a tractor comes by here, we'll grab something and put it away. Alright, so shut that down and I think shut this down. This has been Noble Rambler. Thanks guys for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.